Titanic Basics is a new short series that we're going to start releasing on an irregular basis where we take details from the Titanic story or the functions of ocean liners and we explain them into a little bit more depth. Often in our comments sections on our videos we get people asking who are pretty new to the Titanic story to explain some of the key terms or the elements in the Titanic story that you and I might take for granted. We all know what the bridge is. We all know what the New York incident was. We all know what the Carpathia was. But for someone who is just entering the story of the Titanic, these are all new things for them and they need to be introduced. So in these videos, we're going to start taking these basic things and we're going to explain them in a way that is accessible for everyone. We really want to make the Titanic and history accessible for everyone. But at the same time, we're going to include some more advanced content so that hopefully everyone watching learns something new. In fact, in writing these and researching these videos, I'm always learning something new. So this is something that we're going to start doing just when we get the time. The first installation of this series is going to be about Titanic terminology, although a lot of these terms will apply to any ocean liner or even any ship. So I'm going to be demonstrating a lot of these terms about the physical ship on this 1-1000 scale model which we actually have available in our store. So product placement for the win. I'm also going to be using my SS United States mixer as my pointer. What is the hull? The hull is the main body of the ship. It's the iron sides, the bottom, which is also known as the keel, and up to just below the superstructure. The bow is the front of the ship, generally forward of the bridge. And the bridge is where the ship is commanded. A crewman mans the helm, or the steering wheel of the ship, and other crewmen command the ship's speed here. The term comes from the days of the old paddle wheel steamers, such as the Great Western, or the Britannia. They were designed with a bridge connecting the two paddle wheels so that the crew could walk between them and look over the side of the ship for inspection. The stern is the back end of the ship, generally behind the last funnel. A funnel is essentially the same thing as a smokestack, and the terms are interchangeable. They're the four tall towers and meant to vent the smoke and steam from the ship's boilers and away from the passengers and crew on the deck. Not every ship has four funnels like the Titanic and Lusitania. Some have three, some have two, some have just one, and on very, very rare circumstances, some have five. It is incorrect to refer to them as chimneys when referring to a ship. The starboard side is a ship's right-hand side when facing forward. Before the use of rudders, a steering oar was used to turn the ship, and since most people were right-handed, it was always on the right-hand side of the ship. This side was therefore referred to as the steerboard side. Because the steering board was on the right side, the ships would then tie to the port with the left side, hence starboard and port sides. Prior to the 1840s, the port side was referred to as the larboard side, originating from the term laudaboard, which means the loading side. In the 1840s, the U.S. and Royal Navies changed the term to port side since starboard and larboard sounded too similar. The foc'sle is the structure at the bow or front of the ship. It's spelled as forecastle, but yes, it's pronounced as foc'sle on the Titanic. Atop it is the mast, and mounted on the mast is the lookout post, mainly referred to as the crow's nest. On other ships, the foc'sle is sometimes more pronounced, but on Titanic, it is this one deck structure forward of the forward well deck. The well decks were the smaller open spaces where an opening is carved into sea deck. The Titanic had two of them. They were both for third class usage. The second one was towards the stern, just forward of the poop deck. Now stop sniggering, the poop deck has nothing to do with toilets. The term poop deck originates from the French word for stern, le poop. Now sometimes you might hear the word tender when referring to ships like the Nomadic. The tender is a smaller ship used to ferry passengers and crew and cargo from the mainland 
to large ships like the Titanic or the Olympic or the Queen Mary when they're too large to come in closer to the shore. Now Titanic has a sister ship. In fact, it had two sister ships, the Olympic and the Britannic. A sister is the term generally used to refer to other ships of the same class. Now the Olympic class was the class that the Titanic belonged to, the Titanic, Olympic, and Britannic. These three ships were very, very similar structurally speaking. They looked quite alike as you can see here. They had minor differences, but essentially they were all made from the same template. Let's go inside the Titanic and explore some of the terms for locations throughout ocean liners. But wait, what is an ocean liner? Matt and I were recently featured in a documentary on the Reels Network, and a news article was written about the documentary featuring me on the cover of it and calling the ship a cruise ship, unfortunately implying that Matt and I are referring to the Titanic as a cruise ship, which is incorrect. But what is the difference? An ocean liner can be compared to an airliner, except you guessed it, it's on the ocean. You don't fly on an airliner because you like flying. You are taking the plane somewhere because you are traveling. It's about the destination. At the turn of the century, you'd take an ocean liner for the same reason. You'd need to get from A to B. The ships were the only way to do that overseas. Sure, they'd try to make them fun and comfortable, but you usually weren't traveling on board because you wanted to ride on a ship. A cruise ship, however, is a destination of its own. You're on a cruise ship because you want to take a cruise. The concept of going on a cruise didn't come about until the 1920s and 1930s when companies like Cunard or the White Star Line started offering booze cruises out to international waters so Americans can party without having to worry about prohibition laws. All right, so now let's jump onto the inside of the ship. You've heard of Scotland Road in many of our videos. Scotland Road is the long, wide access corridor that runs most of the length of the ship on the port side. It was shared by third class and crew and gave them an easy way to get to any necessary point on the ship quickly. It was called Scotland Road because of White Star Line tradition. Originally, White Star Liners hailed from Liverpool, and most of the crew came from one neighborhood centered around a street called Scotland Road. As a way to traditionally refer to their home and kind of prevent homesickness, they would refer to the main street on the ship as Scotland Road. On modern ships, we see the similar adaptations of modern streets for their access corridors. Broadway or I-95 are the most common. Staying with the crew, we come to the term mess. The mess, or mess halls, were the dining rooms for crew use. And what is Shaft Alley? Now, I'm not talking about the cat that won't cop out when there's danger all about. Shaft Alley is the section in the far stern of the ship where the propeller shafts run through the ship on the inside, and the space where the crew had access to lubricate these shafts. Now get your mind out of the gutter. We're going to need to be extra mature for this next term, the glory hole. Glory hole was a term used for lockers to store things on ships, but by Titanic's era, this had come to more commonly refer to the large dormitory style rooms where the sailors and stewards slept. We're gonna leave it at that, and I think we've covered the basic terminology. Other phrases will come up as we go into depth about other operations and the story of the ship, but they'll be explained in context when the time comes. And don't forget on our website, you can find these little ship models, 3D printed and hand painted already, available for sale. We offer the Titanic, the Olympic, Nomadic, and several others. www.titanichg.com store. Thank you.